likes to make fun of us saying that how can I grow plants when I just have a week end of summer as he puts it well anyway here in Canada how we grow plants is that we make use of the containers that we have and whatever space we have so here I have my basils my oreganos and my leeks I have them in containers so that when the season changes I can always move them in and prolong the time I well that's a flowering plant that's over there also on my patio I have two scotch bonnet peppers skellion over the corner and then I also have some thyme that I'm working on in that end over on the other side I have my lemongrass that's growing right there beautiful lemongrass that is used to make tea it also has a lot of medicinal properties I have um, sweet potato vine that's growing and here everybody knows those from Jamaica they're the periwinkle plant and if you didn't know they're also actually very good for cancer purposes there is one um, chemotherapy drug that actually uses um, extracts from periwinkle here we have I have a leaf of life plant that's growing I'm very proud of it there was one leaf that was that was that had grown off that has come off and I just took it and put it back into the into the soil and there that one little leaf is now sprouting two other plants on that leaf of life so that's how we do it here in Canada over on the edge you can see the extent of my garden I have tomatoes growing over in the corner that you can see there I have pots that were gifted to me from a very good friend of ours again and in these grow pots I have another potato vine I have ordinary Irish potatoes these are beets some beet roots growing in there and over here we have carrots now I put these in the grow bags because the soil is not deep enough for for tubers anyway behind the behind the carrots I believe there are some Swiss charts over in the corner beside the Swiss charts I have what's over there oh those are kale Inside the kale, we have romaine lettuce. Inside the romaine lettuce, there are some celery. Inside the celery, there is a little kalaloo plant that's coming up. Over beside the kalaloo plant, there is some spinach that's running over there. On the other side, we have colored greens. That's colored greens right in the corner. And of course, there is no Jamaican garden without more skellion going on, more thyme going on. I have my mint plant going on and there is chives, which is another small version to skellion. And that vine that's growing right there is a bitter melon, which also has a lot of medicinal properties. So now we're gonna go down to the bottom and I'll show you the rest of my garden oh and under here i do have a little aloe vera plant that i had taken from the mother plant and i will show you the mother plant which is this one right here she is a big beauty and one of my pride and joy and i'm working on her and over here if you can make it out this is my little sourcep plant so everybody wish my sourcep plant well it is coming along all right, let's go down to the bottom. As you can see, because of my height limitations, I have to use ladders to reach up to my, my garden up at the top. But that is okay. I make do with what I have. In here, I have some yellow sweet Spanish um, onions that are coming up. And over here, oh, I do have some more aloe vera plants these are the babies from the mother plant 
so they're coming up nicely. And here we have another garden. Right here, I actually leave for scraps from the kitchen. And all of these plants that you, you have right here in front of you, they're all grown from pieces of lettuce or pieces of bok choy or whatever remnants that I've gotten in the kitchen. So if you notice, for example, this little one right here, that's a bok choy that I cooked last week. I just take the bottom part, put it in the soil, and there we have it. It's growing and it's gonna give me another bok choy. Over here, my pride and joy, Kalaloo. If you notice right here, these are my pride and joy. They are called the, I guess the Kautong Kalaloo. Beautiful spread. Look how big those are and I am sure they're gonna be absolutely delicious.